Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing really good. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is HP EliteBook 840 G3 laptop motherboard and this motherboard problem is this uh, external display is okay, everything is okay but internal display no data or no image. So now I will try to fix this motherboard and I will share with you how to fix this kind of problem. So let's try to fix it. So let me show you the problem. So let me connect this uh, LVDS connector to this motherboard. And now I plugged in. And it's uh, turned on. As you can see. So look at here, so as you can see this catalog LED, it's on and off but nothing on a screen. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So at first I will check LCD VCC supply. So first I will check VCC supply for LCD panel, so I plugged in again, set my multimeter in DC mode. This is a VCC supply IC for the CD panel. So we have 3.3 volt here. We also 3.3 volt present. Okay. Okay. Everything is perfect. So let's check this. Uh, EDP connector here. This connector also good. So now I will check all the data line. This side is goes to LVDS cable connector and this side is, side is goes to PCH or CPO. So I will check first I need to set my multimeter in diode range and the ground probe is ground. And another is so we have some value this one also perfect this one also good this one also good okay okay so as you can see nothing is here try another this also nothing. Add some value here. Here also okay. This one also okay. Okay, look at that. Look at that here. I 
I think someone cut out this line here. I don't know why. But as you can see, this line, this line, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. With all the lines cut out. Why, bro? So first I'm going to fix those all the line with jumper wire. And then I will check again. So I fix all the line perfect. Now it's time to check. Ready? So it's time for check the problem solve or not. The connect LVDS connector again. Let's plug in. Plug in and it's turn on as you can see it's turn on so now i need to wait for a few seconds okay we have hp level so it's done so as you can see we successfully fix this motherboard and thanks for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much